بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ٹو آل آف یو آئی ہوپ دیٹ یو آل آر فائن ہیپی اینڈ فریش دس از یور سائنس ٹیچر محمد مشہود خان اینڈ ٹوڈے وی آر گوئنگ ٹو اسٹارٹ چیپٹر نمبر الیون دیٹ از دا انوائرمنٹ بٹ وی بفور وی گو ان ٹو دا ڈیٹیلس آف دس چیپٹر First of all, we must know that what is the environment. So, environment is a scientific word for surroundings. So, all the physical surroundings on the earth are called the environment. The environment includes every living thing and every non-living. For example, we say the people, animals, plants and all other living things rely on the non-living parts of the environment to survive. So, basically what environment is, every physical thing that is around you is, is the part of environment and it's, it is called the environment. For example, we say the people in which you are living in the animals around you, the plants around you, even the bacteria around you, even the non-living parts. For example, we say the air that you are breathing in, the temperature you are living in, all these things come in the part of environment. So all these things combine and they form a particular environment. So now there are two factors of the environment. What are these factors? The number one is the biotic factor and the other one is abiotic factors. So let's see what is this biotic and abiotic factors. So biotic factors are the one which are the living things and abiotic factors are the one which is non-living things. So basically the environment is consisting of two basic factors the biotic and abiotic factors the one part that we call is the biotic factor includes all the living things for example as you can see in the figure also in the picture also the biotic factor includes plants animals bacteria fungus protists and many other living things that can be around you So all these living things comes under the factor of biotic and that is the one factor of environment. The other factor is abiotic factor. And what is this abiotic factor? All the non-living things that comes in your surrounding are the abiotic factor. Abiotic factor includes soil, air, minerals, light, and water the soil definitely the soil is a type like where the trees are grown the grass is grown up and air that you are breathing in the minerals that you are taking in the sunlight that you are receiving from the sun and the water you are drinking in all these things are non-living things and these all things are in your surroundings so all these non-living things are abiotic and these are in your in your surrounding so this biotic and abiotic factor combine and they form an environment now biotic factor says biotic means anything that is living like plants animals microbes are all living organisms so they are considered biotic parts of the environment and biotic material that comes from living organisms these are also called the biotic factor so basically if we see in our surrounding we are just living in a lot of biotic factors like we are humans so we are living in in a community so we are living in in people we are, people are in our surrounding then we have pets we have some animals other animals which we uh, uh, utilize as a food 
these are also living in our surroundings we have microbes we have little tiny organisms these are also living things and these are all the part of the biotic factor and they come to uh, they contribute in the biotic factor and are the part of our surrounding so this is there we have another picture in which we say biotic factors are the living organism that are the part of environment so you can see a picture so everything there you see if it is a living thing uh, that is uh, the biotic factor for example you can see a deer you can see a frog you can see other creature other living creatures you can fish you can see turtles plants so these are all the you can see even the birds so this all thing these are all the living things these are all the living things which are around you so these are all the biotic factors the next in detail we are discussing the abiotic factors that abiotic factors are the non-living factors in an environment such as temperature light water and nutrients these are the abiotic factor like the air that we are breathing in as you can see in the picture also that wind sunlight soil temperature the atmosphere the water so all these things combine and they form the abiotic factor these are all the non-living things then the question arises here that what is ecosystem an ecosystem is made up of all the living and non-living things in an area that includes all of the plants animals and all the, all other living things that make up the communities of the life in an area an ecosystem also includes non-living materials for example water rock soil and sand so ecosystem is just like the environment that is around you so ecosystem consists of the both the living and the non-living factors both when they both when both the factor combine they form a ecosystem and that for example you have been told that ecosystem includes non-living materials for example uh, uh, water rocks soil and sand so this is these are the some examples of the uh, ecosystem but living things are also included in that that includes plants that include animals that includes all the living creatures in that particular area so that is called the ecosystem you can see in the picture also that both thing combines it's a very pleasant uh, picture in which you can see uh, there is a sunlight there are trees there is a water there are insects there are some animals plants even the some bacteria is shown there so when they all combine they form an ecosystem so con concluding this all that what is the environment so we studied that the environment is basically a scientific word for the surroundings now what this surrounding is surrounding is all the things which are around you that includes the living things and even the non-living things then we say the environment is uh, basically divided into two factors we say one is the biotic factor and the other is the abiotic factor biotic factor are the one which are the living which includes the living things and abiotic factor is the one that includes the non-living things and then we took few examples then and in the last we discussed about the ecosystem that an ecosystem is made up of all the living and non-living things it is same like the uh, environment we can say it includes all the uh, both living and non-living part of of your surroundings so I hope that you have understood it all and if there will be any problem any question definitely you will ask me in class thank you and have a very nice time